Tonight, we're hearing more from a local mom whose daughter was killed by her fiance. Jennifer Herbert's mother addressed the court today, just moments after Wilford Chasen was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. The sentence is part of a plea deal between prosecutors and Chasen's defense attorney. News for Jackson reporter Ashley Harding was in the courtroom for the sentencing today. This new photo of Jennifer Herbert given to News for Jax shows a happy, smiling woman. This is how her loved ones are remembering her. Inside the courtroom this morning, Herbert's killer, Wilford Chasen, showed little emotion as a prosecutor read her mother's victim impact statement. October 2018, I received the news that my daughter was killed. I knew immediately it was the defendant. He was verbally abusive to Jennifer and me, to the point that Jennifer was afraid to call me and I couldn't call her. Police found Jennifer Herbert's body inside the Bartram Park home the couple shared. Hours later, Chasen was tracked down driving in Flagler County. In her statement, Herbert's mother explained that she lives in Flagler County and believed Chasen was coming after her. She says the heartache over losing her daughter hasn't gotten easier. I was and remain in shock, disbelief. No Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthday, not a single day will ever be the way it should have been. At one point, Chasen spoke in court saying he does feel remorse and sorrow over what happened. I would have probably fallen in that year. I apologize to you. I'm very sorry. Herbert's mother also told the judge her daughter loved animals, had a smile that lit up the room, and was looking forward to her future. She also said Jennifer was adopted and had talked about one day meeting her biological mother, a chance she'll never have because of Wilford Chasen. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.